you were talking about tying in rhythm, harmony, melody, all three things, and playing or being aware. Hearing. All this. Yeah. Hearing. Yeah. How did, is that something that like came natural to you? Did you have to develop that? Did guys talk to you about that? And, and then how do you impart that knowledge to a, to a student? Well, the first point <clears throat> is, the fir- an answer to the first part of the three th- things that you posed is, or I'll answer the second thing first. Yes, guys uh, or persons throughout uh, or, uh, formative years as for uh, in any given field of endeavor, hopefully any person who wants to achieve is always asking questions and open to the answers and, and, and then in turn learning and deleting what they think is valid uh, or invalid, but, and sometimes maybe it's just valid for them yeah. It could be a valid answer, but it maybe just doesn't work for them because it isn't. And certainly in music, it may not be the way they feel, okay, about it. And, and, and certainly we all have a right to express ourselves, self-expression. Right. Okay. So, yes, I, in answer to shorten it, yes, I certainly have asked questions of everyone growing up. Everyone. I mean, and I've been privileged to be at different times in my life around persons who are, have been some of the best people in the world and I've always asked questions mm-hmm. and, 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 and learn from the answers. Now, at the first part, having grown up in New York City around people who didn't always speak English and some of them being part of the Latin community and having gone to school at an early age in East Harlem, a some it was of necessity that we speak somehow so at that time of my life uh, one of the things we used to do in the schoolyard was play with nickels on Campbell's soup cans or on uh, trash cans with dowel sticks from uh, from shop and and that way you could develop a relationship with uh, guys who might otherwise uh, you know uh, you might not be able to communicate with and and I found that it was relatively easy to sing back some of the things that they were playing and it made me feel really good and and I, I, I loved it. I loved it. Okay. And I saw that it was just another language. That it wasn't anything mystical. It was a language. The language of sound. And that it had sequence and logic and that it moved and that every sound that was made, that there was a motion that you could make with your body and every body motion that you could make, you could answer it back with a rhythm. That there was in perfect rea- ratio to the sounds that you make, that in, there was body language for every sound. Mm-hmm. There was absolutely no doubt of that in my mind. Of course, I expressed that to some people uh, at the time and they said, well, what the hell are you talking about? But I mean, I still feel that to this day and it's my opinion, it may be worth the uh, buttons or it may be so, but I mean that's the way I see it in my mind. It makes very graphic pictures, and, and that's the way it is for me. Now, uh, so I, to whatever degree I did or didn't hear, in answer to your first question, now, yes, uh, I I think that I don't know. I can't rate that or estimate it. I did hear at whatever level I heard those rhythms as a kid, a kid around people who just naturally tap them out mm-hmm. and I kind of responded to them to talk back to them, you know so we could same as kids playing ball in the streets mm-hmm. so we could play together right. only we didn't play ball we played on, on the fenders of cars or whatever do, 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 do you yeah, understand? understand do you understand yeah okay so and, and, and it was real fun for me and and, and as a young person, and uh, you know, young people should enjoy themselves, and for, the, for that matter, all people should to the day they die. So I found myself continuing to do that. And then the second question, yes, I found myself around persons as I grew a little bit stepwise, asking questions of persons who were more formally trained in these areas and trying to be open to learning. Okay. To learn. I lost the third question somehow. Uh, how do I try to communicate this to to students? To, to students? I think that the the process of communication to students is 
a kind of uh, a learning process for the teacher himself because you learn from your students. Mm -hmm. They provoke, uh, your, they necessitate. Of necessity, they teach you to teach because they ask questions and they make you look into yourself for the answers. And if you're continually doing this on a daily basis, you either find an empty barrel within yourself and no answers, yeah. or you continually go within yourself and you find yourself coming up with answers. Now, it doesn't mean that when you come up with the answers that it work, come up with an answer that it works. Uh, but if, if, if for whatever reason, if you find that you're coming up with an answer and you suddenly find that it's working and you see how that leads to the next thing and the next thing and before you know it a sequence evolves you don't sit down and do this thing as if it's a, a you know a, a, I, I don't know how to put it into words it's, it's, it's not a mechanical project it's a, I guess it's a, a maybe it's a creative a creative uh, process I think that occurs and slowly something evolves that you yourself watch and a new joy occurs mm -hmm. and you start to see something happen within yourself uh, that starts to you find yourself able to answer questions more readily as the years go on and you find that you're in a position to uh, solve problems uh, faster than you formerly could then when you first started to take on the uh, the responsibility mm -hmm. of uh, of uh, teaching and trying to help people who are saying, ah, let's get together and try to achieve. And you slowly find that there's a, more and more and more for myself, a joy in doing this. Mm -hmm. in, in, and you get more and more and more and more involved in it. And it's like a never, it's like an endless uh, pit. You just, you get, inside of it and it just it's it's a growth thing that i hope forever it seems it'll never stop stop you keep you as you teach you continually learn it's endless and and it's a true joy it really is